Okay, this is the second in the series of Shure Motive products that they've come out with that plug these plug right into the lightning port. So you get a digital connection there, and that is intriguing. And of course, I like the lightning port much better than micro USB or some of the other ports out there. Seems to work better. This thing's very well made, very heavy duty, seems to be all metal. And I, I think it works pretty good. You be the judge. I'm going to have some tests at the end of this. I won't really know until I get it out in the field and try to record you know, like some bands playing music or whatever. I'm hoping that this will replace having to carry a Zoom H1 recorder. I'm hoping I can just pop this mic on and do everything I would do with the Zoom H1 more conveniently with this because I can carry this puppy right in my pocket. And of course I always have the iPhone with me. By the way, when you try to pivot the, the right left mics there, that, that, that'll actually turn. It's really tight, but it does actually turn. And then also, uh, it does not, it, um, as far as that piece pivoting up, it only goes straight up and then it goes down. It does not go to the other side, and I kind of tried to force it, but it, it will not go to the other side. So. If you want to point it the other way, you need to pull it out of the lightning port and then plug it back in. Of course, lightning ports are ambidextrous. They work either way, so that solves that problem. But you would have to unplug the mic and plug it back in to have the mic facing back the other way, in other words. So like if it's facing forward like it is there, if you want to face it back towards you, see, it won't go that way. You, you have to unplug it, turn it around, and then you can face it the other way. I haven't heard any other reviewers really talk about that. And then the pivot, the right and left directional aspect of it, you, you would twist that where it says shore on it there, you twist that around and that is kind of hard to do. It works. I would pull it out of the phone and do it because you don't want to put torque on that lightning port. And see that green light, by the way, that tells you that it's on. That's kind of neat. It has a little green light there that shows you that it's on. And I'm not going to go into the the app here and how it all works there's other videos that kind of go into that it's it's pretty self-explanatory it seems to work pretty good and and the claim to fame here is once you set the settings like on spoken word or music or whatever or loud music it has a setting for that it will remember that setting and when you use another app like your your built-in movie app on the iPhone it will honor those settings now I haven't confirmed that with my testing but I believe that's the way it operates. So here are a few sample clips. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Okay, I've got it on the music preset. So this should be in stereo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of test that. I'm going to go over here, talking over on this side. And then I'm going to go over here, talking over on this side, and see if you're seeing getting any uh, stereo separation on that. And the next, now I'm going to change to the um, spoken word setting and see if that's more straight ahead. So let's try that next. Okay, so now I'm on the spoken word setting and the mic is pointed straight ahead and we're gonna see what kind of set, what we get now. And I'm gonna go over here, talk over on this side, then I'm gonna go over here, talking over on this side. You shouldn't hear any stereo separation now, I wouldn't think. And again, the, the iPhone is about, I'd say two and a half, three feet maybe away from me right now. So I, I'm talking in a you know, decent voice and uh, this would be in an interview situation using it almost like a shotgun mic uh, type of a situation. Thank you, Terry. Okay, so now I turned on a radio which is kind of behind but to the side, just a little bit behind and to the side of the phone. And I turned it up pretty good. It's, it's pretty loud. So I want to see how well this rejects that sound when it's in the spoken word setting. Okay, so one last test. This is with the unit unplugged and I'm just using the built-in microphones on the iPhone 6S Plus. The radio is still running in the background and we're seeing if there's any significant difference here. Okay, now once more with the mic plugged back into the unit. And then I'm going to do one last clip with the iPhone mics without the radio turned on, and we'll see what happens. And the radio's turned off right now. 
Okay, this is one last clip with the iPhone with the internal microphones and without the help of the uh, special mic. And we'll see if this is any different at all. You be the judge. Let me know in the comments what you think about this system. Let me know if Shore is on to something here. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Note all these samples were straight out of the iPhone without any post-processing. I didn't change the levels or anything. Thanks for watching.